Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's stream. My name is Liam O'Neill, producer here at Fat Shark, and joining me today, as always, is Tom Batsford, Hello. gameplay programmer, and a very special guest, Mr. Hedge. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Hi also known as Leah Wakelin, our community manager as of, how long have you been with us? A month? Uh, two? Eight weeks. Eight weeks? Two yeah. months? Yeah. Very nice. Except for March. So today is our Meet the Dev stream, and we're, we're doing these weekly streams now that we started off last week. We have a streaming schedule that is up on our website. You can check that out under the community tab. And the second stream that we're doing here is Meet the Devs. We previously kind of experimented with this format by introducing Tom Batsford, yeah. who then stuck around. And that has, was a while ago now, though. We haven't been able to get him out of the streams <laughs> since then, but it's good fun. And uh, today, Leo's joining us to talk about his experience with community management, kind of what he does here at Fat Shark, where he comes from, that kind of stuff, and taking questions from you guys. Leo is an all-over, all-around cool guy. Posts a lot of memes and stuff on our Twitter. Well, it's about the memes. <laughs> all about the memes. So uh, can we get the stream schedule up on, on the screen? We can kind of walk you through that for those of you uninitiated watching the stream first time. It's there. Uh, no, the actual website page. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Next level stuff. <laughs> so just to kind of walk you through, as I said, we are doing... Oh, and there's oh, our teaser, oh. by the way. Oh. We'll talk about that at the end of this stream. <laughs> And so we're doing this new streaming schedule every week at the same time on Tuesdays. We've got these different shows. So last week we had the sneak preview stream of the Quest and Contract system, which mm -hmm. is coming up later. Today we're doing Meet the Devs, introducing Leo. And next week we're doing a surprise stream. Which Can we'll we talk, mention what it is? We'll talk about that at the end of this stream. Okay. So we're actually going to announce what that is today. Uh, I, I guess around the time that we do our standard giveaway was, was the thinking. Sure. And uh, after that we'll do a Play with the Devs stream. Our Twitch channel is now partnered as well, which means that you can subscribe, and that's going to give you a ton of cool stuff. Blondie, would you like to explain to people what subscribing means? Sure. Um, well, I'm going to do it from behind the screen here. because You can't see him, <laughs> can't you see can hear him. him. It's terrible sound. Just mine. Uh, subscribing will give you the following perks. You will get an exclusive in-game hat for Vermintide. Dun, dun, dun. Marcus Kruber. It's yep. epic. You can see it down below under, this, uh, under the stream, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just go to twitch.tv slash fatsharkgames. Yeah, you'll have yeah. a link in the description bar if you're watching this on the YouTubes. You also get a uh, two, currently, emotes to use anywhere on Twitch TV. And there are two new ones coming. Nice. One, one is uh, sort of a meme <laughs> that uh, regular viewers will uh, recognize. A uh, beard of sorts. Uh, maybe, it's maybe. grown on us over time. That's That's cool. Tom, I can't sure. wait. I'm excited for that one. <laughs> You, uh, you will also get a subscriber badge to use in... Uh, well, it shows up whenever you write in the uh, chat for the Fat Shark channel. Yeah, there you go. And uh, you will also get immunity to slow mode if we ever need that. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever get to no, that point. Slow mode, yeah. We'll Probably see. not. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, no ads. No ads. No ads. Winning. Uh, and one thing that we should mention as well is if you subscribe to our Twitch, our Twitch channel, that's uh, all the money is going to be going to charity. We're, we're hoping to kind of announce some details on exactly which charity that is soon. We've been soon. working with a specific charity now and trying to get that nailed down. But uh, we're not doing this to make money. We're doing this because it's a fun little thing, and mm -hmm. it kind of it's a it's a it gives us some features within Twitch that are really nice for us to have and to continue doing weekly streams like this. I like the emoticons that you get. <laughs> I love the cat one, the cute yeah. one. It's brilliant. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about the future ones soon. But, yeah. but actually, because we hit Hopefully a nice be on soon as well. yeah, it's because we hit kind of a milestone of an amount of subscribers that yeah. has opened up more emoticons for us. So the more people who subscribe, the cooler things we're going to be able to give to people, which is always fun. So back to the format. Yes, today introductions. I guess we pretty much mm. nailed that. Now we're going to be going into meet the devs in just a moment. And if you have any questions for Leo as we go along, just drop them in the Twitch chat, and Blondie will throw them our way. We'll be doing a community spotlight, which I believe Leo has prepared. Of course. So if you if you uh, if you hate that, you can tell him live. Uh, if you love it, you can also tell him live. Positivity. We we'll have a Q and A section where we'll answer some of the common questions that have come up and some questions that were taken in our forums. We have a specific thread on both Reddit and the Steam forums every week where you can ask your questions for the live stream. We'll have our classic giveaway, where we give away ten exclusive stream hats for you people watching today. And we'll finish it all off with some shout outs to new subscribers and people following the Twitch channel. So this is going to be a really fun stream. I think. Mm -hmm. We're actually not going to be doing any playing today. It's going to be a very casual stream, just kind of chatting with you guys, which is a yeah. lot of fun. And uh, yeah, first things first. Fire uh, away with some questions. Let's do this. Leo. Yes, hello. Who is Leo Hedge Wakelin and why the name Hedge? Uh, well, the name Hedge is kind of a, uh, an interesting take on the Swedish word of hello. 
Um, as an English guy, the first time Ooh. I ever saw the word hello, I pronounced it hedge. Uh, but much to everyone's <laughs> hilarity. So. That is brilliant. I did not know that. There we go. There we so, go. so can you say the Swedish word for hello now? I can say three words in Swedish. Go. In type, hey, nay, okay. <laughs> That's Solid. about it. It's more than I know. That's all we need. <laughs> Tom's good at ordering food, at least. Yeah. He gets that right. Yeah, I can get that. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> That's funny. So, so you're obviously both from England? That's right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously from not, down there. But you didn't know each other prior, because no. England is, is a large Don't country. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sizable. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. Yeah. So what did you do before coming to Fat Shark? Um, so I, I spent a good eight, eight or so years working at Blizzard Entertainment. Um, over in the European office in Paris. Which is a small indie studio. Right? Yeah, they're, they're not that big fry, really. <laughs> you might not have even heard of them. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I worked there. I started off as a, as a game master. So I guess that was my entry into into the sort of industry in, as a whole. Um, playing a lot of Warcraft, you end up finding your way onto the website. Applied for a job and from there it kind of just took off, really. I, I found myself in the, the customer support forums and then moved through as a, as a community manager. Um, for my last years there. Cool. Yeah. And what was that like, like on a day-to-day basis? How was that? Really cool. I mean, you're working with such a huge product, with such a huge, you know, community on a, on that sort of scale. Um, trying to find the feedback is quite interesting, but uh, it was, it was yeah, really, really exciting stuff. And uh, you know, attending events and things like that, everyone was so, you know, passionate about it. It just drove me to continue staying in video games. Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I play a lot of Diablo. Yeah myself <laughs> totally not biased when i saw your cv coming uh, <laughs> it's good fun it's good fun good fun to have you on board i mean obviously something that we've always done as a company previously has, has been kind of making sure that all the devs are engaged in the forums and really talk to the community yeah. and even those who don't really like writing in forums or at least reading the forums like mm. religiously we have people commenting on threads coming up I was, oh look this guy sent in a, a funny screenshot or like yeah. Guys, is this an exploit or not? <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's like always yeah. people are checking the forums. It's good for people to know the state of the game and yeah. the state of people's opinions of the game as well. So mm. we need to keep up to date on that. Exactly. I know around launch, everyone was actively on the forums, yes. making sure that we answered as many questions as we could. Mm. Uh, and I think people still do that now. Yeah. But now we have a dedicated person for that. So Yeah, I mean, what was funny was we, we got to that point where Vermintide really took off. I mean, it yeah. took off beyond our expectations. Mm. And... Uh, Keeping up with the amount of feedback and questions and bug reports and what have you is tricky, and it's it's a full time role, and we mm. really we realize that you know kind of late. Uh, but there you go, and we brought Leo in to help us out with that and post memes and stuff. And uh, <laughs> it's been good fun having you on board. So, w- what would you say you do at Fat Shark today? Um, what today specifically, or just in general? In general. Um, so I try and go through all of the different places in which feedback can be accumulated. So through Reddit, through the Steam forums, through the Fat Shark forums, Twitter, Facebook, wherever we can really. Um, and try and get that message back to the dev team. Get mm. get your voices heard, really, I guess, and uh, let them know what your thoughts are and, and what you want to see more of, less of, you know, something new maybe. Um, so that's kind of the meat and bones of, of a lot of what I do. Um, I do a lot of sort of social social announcements through, through Twitter and Facebook as well, making sure we're trying to find, you know, an interesting content there, as well as mm. taking interesting content that you guys have created and, and bringing it to these sorts of panels here, you know, on the weekly stream. Um, through the community spotlights and things like that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, yeah. And so you said that the way that you got into working at Blizzard was was by playing a lot of World of Warcraft. Absolutely. <laughs> you tell us a bit more about like how you got in. Um, well, I mean, it was just like any job, really. I guess you send in your application form and, and just Hope fingers best, crossed. Yeah, yeah uh, it was a lengthy process. It took about nine months before I actually, from application to actually landing in their office and, and beginning work there. Um, and I guess leading on to why I why I wanted to join someone like Fat Shark is is when you're in somewhere like Blizzard, your voice as an individual as a community manager may not reach the right mm-hmm. people at the right speed. It's um, very big very thing, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And you know, especially when we were so far away from the dev team, they were all based in the US and we were based in Europe. It was quite tricky to get the message mm. across. Whereas, you know, joining somewhere like Fat Shark, I'm in the same room as as all the guys, uh, and can just, you know, Throw throw a note over a desk and they'll see it. They'll read it. <laughs> and they throw it back. Yeah. And they throw it back. But yeah, you know, it's sure. that's an exciting part of being here. Really, yeah. is, is feeling much more a part of the process. Yeah, I yeah. think uh, I mean, there are pros and cons to, to smaller companies as well. We obviously, I, I think we have a, a bit more inherent chaos in the way that we do things. Mm, yeah, perhaps. possibly it's not as much of a, a machine and kind of like. Mm. And that's not chaos on. confirmed. No, <laughs> no chaos confirmed. <laughs> Good save, man. Thank you. That was that was a close call then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even going to elaborate on that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's good fun. I think um, 
you know, again, it's something that working with the community and trying to make sure that um, that our players are heard and that that we are heard in, in like in return and and can really make our communication a two way street. I think is one of the reasons why we do a lot of streaming as well. And yeah. it's it's so good to be able to have that like live interaction and. You know, that segues me perfectly into if you have any questions for Leo, live, yeah. ask them in the Twitch chat and Blondie shall ask them. Blondie, have you got any questions so far? Or are we... Uh, um, I'm seeing that Blondie's browser has crashed or something, so maybe he's having to, <laughs> to kind of get the new questions coming no, in. No, no, no. Um, I have one question from This Is Very Pointless, mm -hmm. which is, uh, Leo, are you taking inspiration from Tom as to how to manage your beard? <laughs> um, I haven't actually quizzed him too much on it yet. Um, oh. I've heard about rumours of beard oil and grooming and, mm. and such things, but I'm in a very early stage of development, so I've got a long way to go before I can <laughs> even begin competing. But surely, Tom, the, the beard master, will be able to take you under his wing and, and oh, walk hopefully. you through the general steps. Yeah, maybe. It's pretty easy. There's uh, some wilderness training, and you've got to survive well, a, a month in, yeah. uh, in the Norwegian forest. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. I'm not a beard guy, sorry. I mean, I tried once. Uh, How'd it go? Well... I shaved. Mm. Fair enough. I kind of have that like, you know, once every couple of months I'll go, oh, maybe I should have a beard. I give it a go. And then I'm like, mm, mm. no. Don't, don't. Yeah. No. It works no. for some. I'm sure others. some of you at home can relate. Yeah. I hope that some of you at home can. <laughs> yes. I'm well, also, yeah, I'm glad that we also have you on board for when we do big um, patches. Like yes. the upcoming ones. For example, like the quests and contracts or mm. our recent announcement, which we'll elaborate on more later. Um, it's going to be great to get feedback from people. And that's where you come in. And yeah, absolutely. Hopefully absolutely. Let us all know what's going on. <clears throat> people think how they feel about the levels and things like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. for sure. I, one thing that came up in last week's stream is I, I kind of posed the question when we were talking about difficulty at how there might be a bit of a disparity between the difficulty in each level. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've... We've since then received a lot of feedback that came up a really a really good Reddit thread that kind of walked through like the different levels and people yeah. you know gave some input here and there and uh, uh, I know that that's something that we've now kind of pushed into our, our internal system and like put in all that feedback and, and are really going to try to address that in the future and um, yeah uh, hopefully kind of try to level the difficulty on the maps no pun intended yeah and uh, yeah we'll see what, we'll see what happens there but that's always like one of the reasons why. I'm glad. Yeah, definitely. That's one of the reasons why we really enjoy interacting with the community. And I think it's easy to forget, like, we read the forums all the time, but sometimes when I go into Thread Night and I answer something, I often get like, oh, the devs are listening. Wow. And we're like, yeah. wow, the players are telling us stuff. You know, so for us, it's, it's, it really is, um, I'm losing, I don't know which word to say here, but it, it's, it's mutual happiness <laughs> and yeah, benefit. Mutually really beneficial, yeah. yeah. We really enjoy that. And as a small studio, it's really important for us to get that feedback. Yeah. Even if we were a big studio, it'd be important. Yeah. I don't know why I said that. That made no <laughs> sense. Any other questions from the stream before I uh, t completely derail? <laughs> we have a question from uh, Jamie T. Dodgers 1. Jamie. Uh, Hedge, do you have a preferred platform for feedback, like Reddit over Fat Track forums or Steam forums over Reddit? So we've got your phone number, haven't we? We can <laughs> call Leo any time of the day. Yeah, send me a text. That's yeah. fine. Um, no, any platform, really. I mean, I, I keep my nose in all of them. I've always got multiple tabs open, and I'm constantly making sure that, you know, I read every single one of your threads. Um, I might not be able to get back to commenting to all of them, but do know that any feedback you provide through any platform, um, Will be heard it's, yeah, it's being heard and yeah. the right people are hearing it. So. I know like an interesting topic that, that I, I find keeps coming up in a lot of like, um, there obviously a lot of events within the game industry where developers kind of share insights and that kind of stuff. And one thing that I know came up a lot at last year's uh, kind of game developers conference was how to respond to stuff if you don't really have a good answer. And I think that's a really interesting topic is like occasionally people come with a suggestion or a question and we might not have an immediate answer for that. Yeah. How would you tackle that? Um, it's a tricky one, really. Um, making sure people feel acknowledged that they've been heard. You know, if, if the question is a really great question or, or the feedback they're providing is really great, but you're not sure where you're going to go with it. Um, if you have the time and the capability, just try and let them know that, you know, they've been heard. Mm. Yeah. Not, it's not ever a guarantee and anything in games development my view or my comment can't solidify a change being made or no. or, or something like that. You know, there's there's a lot of people that need to have that input um, in the long sure. run. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's a team effort. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, no one person can make any individual call. You know, there's a lot to consider. So. Mm. Absolutely. And I think 
my next question would be if you have any advice for people who want to get into a similar role, like uh, people who want to become a community manager, maybe, is there anything that you would suggest considering before doing that or any methods to take? Is it just playing a lot of World of Warcraft? Is that? <laughs> um, I mean, that's not the key. I guess, I guess when you're getting involved in online communities, actually try and try and post as if you were a community manager, try and be adult mature mm -hmm. and, and actually, uh, if you're going to comment on things, do it constructively. And if you're going to feedback on things, do it wholly and and, and wholesomely, mm. I suppose. Mm. Um, you can you quite easily notice the people in the forums that uh, look at questions from that perspective, mm. like try and like offer feedback or answer people's questions or point them to different threads where that question may have already been answered. And like that kind of uh, mentality, I think, will get you a long way. Exactly. Mm. I mean, I'm, I know Blizzard, for example, do like an MVP program where they actually identify people in the community who try their hardest to, mm. you know, to almost be a representative of Blizzard without the salary and without the status, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. And actually, that sort of company will, will put you in a spot where you have recognition for that. You're still unpaid and you do carry some status, but that's a really good way of getting in. And, and maybe something we'd do if, 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 our, if things become more, you know, busier and, and yeah. it's required that we'd need people to help us out, sort sure. of moderators, if you like. Yeah, I think that's a cool idea and really like give it back to the community and definitely the, the bigger contributors and that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, we have, we have a couple of really great people in our community, like uh, Ezard, for example, who does mm -hmm. the vermin side or verminguide.com, I believe is the, is the yeah. site. It's really, it's still a work in progress, but it, it's a really cool site for calculating stuff like which traits you can have on which weapons. Mm -hmm. I actually use that a lot when yeah. I like think of which builds I want to go with because we didn't build a tool like that in-house. You know, it's just, no. we had a, a fan of the game who built something is useful for us, yeah. Yeah. which I find really funny. And he's active in Reddit as well. You know, he's the kind of person you would see in that sort of role mm. as a, you know, as a, a bastion of the community. And I think yeah. having those sorts of things under your wing can help you get into a community management role. Yeah. Um, when you can, you know, show, show someone. Even I mean, it sounds bizarre, but to put it on your CV if you're applying for a games company, it makes sense. It makes sense yeah. to do. You know, another company if you're applying to a supermarket, it might make. <laughs> might look a bit strange, but you know, absolutely. When trying to get into the games industry, it's a really good mm. tool to have on, you know, a good thing to have under your belt. Definitely, and this yeah, is that. This is the site we were talking about, and it has a lot of, uh, you know, the information on the different enemies. Uh, you've got obviously missing a lot of like icons and stuff like that. But if you look at these pages, if you go into the stats of each weapon, you can kind of calculate like these are the combinations of traits that you can have. Because something that we do in Vermintide is, if a weapon has, say, an orange weapon has these two traits then the third one can only be one of a specific set just to kind of like tackle out the overly obvious OP builds yeah. and that kind of stuff. Mm. So there are some combinations there that you could experiment with on this page. They're not completely random combinations. Uh, so. No, they aren't. We put some thought into them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, potentially offensive for other games. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no offense. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a really cool site. So uh, can we agree that Ezra is this week's MVP? I reckon. Uh, sure, sure. Most valuable player in this case, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Cool, man. So, moving on. Tell me, have you got any questions for Leo? Has the chat got any questions for Leo? I don't believe I have. We can take them during the Q&A, maybe. I have a yeah, couple sure. of questions in general. Should we do the community spotlight? Yeah, let's let's go go ahead. So that. this is our weekly segment where we spotlight some Oof. of the coolest contributions within the community. And uh, Leo, what is this first one? Um, so here we've got four pieces of artwork from Ken Quistador, who you can find on Instagram at the URL at the bottom of the screen. Um, unfortunately, there's a fifth missing, obviously. Um, <laughs> but uh, I mean, I just really love the art style. Yeah, the sort of really the, cool. the, the pen work there is mm. is, I mean, in my opinion, is stunning, um, mm. and it really captures the sort of essence of the characters and uh, and kind of reflects the work that the guys upstairs do when you know doing character design and things like that. Um, yeah, I really like the look of the of, uh, of the witch hunter, uh, Mr. Salt Spider. He yeah. looks like he needs to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> my favorite is Australian. Yeah, oh, really? Real yeah, bad. We circle. all have different favourites then. Mine mine is for sure crew, but like, his expression is just captures it perfectly. He's yeah. lost his hands, hasn't he? Yeah, so he's exactly. Like, what is going on, you guys? <laughs> uh, really, <laughs> really, really, cool. really great piece of art. Love it, man. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to seeing it. Sienna in, uh, in the pre <laughs> yeah, This was really that, cool yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, this, this, one, is cool. this one was actually submitted a, a few months ago, I think, through Reddit by a uh, user called No Horses. Mm. Um, and I pulled it out to kind of bridge the gap, really, as as the previous set was missing Sienna, I thought she deserved to be represented this week. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, so yeah, uh, there she is. I mean, I, I personally really like the sort of shading work done yeah. Um, yeah. with the pencil, you know, and, and the highlighting in the hair kind of really brings out the, the sort of fiery aspect, even though it is 
black and white. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I, I, I think we can all agree that No Horses was really on fire when he <laughs> made this piece of work. The puns. Love it, man. Keep going. <laughs> so we got another one? No more art this week. Oh, so we got the Discord channel. Uh-huh. Exactly. Um, this was definitely worth highlighting. Uh, it's quite a good place to go if you're looking for groups in the evening or during the day or actually at any time, really. Mm. Um, it's run by our, I guess, could be another MVP, really, uh, Oscars, who... Um, who we actually had this week over in the office for a play test. We'll probably oh, yeah. get into that later on. Yep. Um, but yeah, I recommend popping that uh, URL at the bottom into your into your browser. It's not very user friendly, I guess. To <laughs> you can find this on vermintide.com if you go to the community tab. And Very actually, we have an invite to the Discord channel right yeah. there. And I believe this was originally started by Aim for Targets TV. Ah, of the guys. I think right, he, right, right. I believe he was the guy who started it. Mm-hmm. Uh, misunderstood there. Yeah, well, we have a lot of. I mean, that's the fun thing is we've had a lot of people come in around launch yeah. who've stuck with the game ever since, and, yeah. and we're really grateful for that. I, I think it's it's very heartwarming to see that, that players are so engaged with the game and that they still want to connect to us and like do these cool things. And there's a lot of Warhammer fans out there, and I think we, we might managed to succeed on getting a pretty decent Warhammer game out. And so mm. I think a lot of the Warhammer fans are quite chuffed with that. Hope so. Hope so. Mm. But it seems like, a, and and that's funny as well, you know. We have such hardcore Warhammer geeks in the office. Man. It's <laughs> yeah, insane, and I think that's, that's true. From the start, one of I think the big concerns was like, will we be able to make a really awesome Warhammer game? Yeah, because it's like if you've been dreaming about making a game within this world that you love, it's terrifying. You get that? Like, I, I <laughs> yeah. know that I could see people. People weren't saying it, but I could tell by the look of some people's faces when we were talking about signing a Warhammer game. Yeah, they were like. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. What have we got ourselves in? Exactly. <laughs> but I think it worked out well in the end, actually. Real, real happy with the results. I have a lot to learn about the Warhammer universe in general. Oh, yeah. You'll learn quickly, I think. Mm. Mm. I think that it's going to be hard to avoid yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the atmosphere of our office. Definitely. So there you go. Cool. Are we? Uh, I believe we'll move on to some Q&A then. Yeah, we'll let's take, do it. So these are some more general questions as well, and I know that these are going to be... Um, Mixed from the Reddit and the Steam threads that we had previously. And some from the stream as well. Exactly. So we'll do some... Uh, oh, there's one about breakfast. There's always one about breakfast. Oh. I don't eat breakfast, personally. <laughs> I'm not answering that. Okay, All so right. the first question is from Kirill. Who asked this via Steam. But this was asked by a couple of people, I'm saying. Uh, are there any plans to make one-handed weapons more viable? This is a really good question. And this is something that I know that one of our designers is actually currently working on and experimenting with. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, balance changes are always a big thing, right? Getting the uh, getting the balance to feel just right with all the different weapon types, and, and making sure that every weapon has like a, a viable situation and a kind of role. And we talked about like weapon roles on the last stream. Yeah, um, I think not that's dice the rolls, aim. But, uh, that's the aim of all the weapons, at least, for them yeah. to be viable in different situations. Exactly. So uh, I know that this is something we're taking a look at right now, and and I can't promise when that's going to be out. It's an iterative process, and we're obviously. We're looking forward to including the community uh, in in that kind of a feedback loop and like giving you changes and, and having you look at them and say, uh, this is the right direction or this is the wrong direction. We really value the player feedback there. I mean, the best players of Vermintide are not us. No. The best players <laughs> outside definitely. of our office. Uh, even if we'd love to say that we're the best at our game, <laughs> you know, 2,000 <laughs> hours later, I'm still not the best no, no at way. the Witch Hunter. <laughs> I, I'm terrible at the Witch Hunter. Yeah. Second question is from Nohead, who asked via Steam, but this has also been asked by a few. A lot of notes here. Uh, are there any plans of adding a bonus for killing patrols? Do we have a bonus for killing rat ogres currently? We will with the quest and contract system. That's true. That's true. I don't know if we're doing that for Stormroom and patrols, though. I don't believe so. I don't think we're doing that initially, but that is something that we might want to look into at some point yeah that's cool I mean uh, what's interesting with the patrols is and this is like a, a very philosophical question here um, <laughs> no, sorry no. Guys, sorry no it's not, that, it's not it's not that philosophical but the point of the patrol is avoid it yeah right and so yeah. if there was a bonus for doing that would that cause any disparity within the team would you have players who are like we should kill them for the bonus or uh, but actually or do you have the bonus for avoiding them yes that's a very good point there you go maybe that's mm. what the bonus should be yeah and Philosophically, <laughs> because you don't have to fight them, isn't that already a bonus? Yeah, sure. That's, that's a double sh- bonus. That's a terrible bonus. Double bonus. You don't have to fight them, and you get something. That's Great. true. That's a cool idea, if anything. So mm. uh, let's look into that. Mm. Uh, okay. Can we do the next one? Saint Silla. Yes. Is Hedge a Hedge Wizard, <laughs> a Hedge Knight, or an actual Hedge? Will he become a playable character? Thank you. 
Well, I mean, going into it, I just I assume <laughs> I'm probably more just a plain hedge to begin with, but uh, uh, maybe sometime I'll level up. Exactly, yeah. level up and mm. become some sort of more mysterious wizard type hedge or hedge wizard, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> the death is imminent. <laughs> imminent. That's funny. Uh, Booksy asks via Steam, is there a plan to implement VR support in the near future? Oof. Oof. I mean,. I know that we have a lot of people in the office who are really passionate about VR, yeah. and I, I, I know that we've we've got people who love experimenting with VR in their spare time, and like we've got a lot of programmers and stuff that, that really look into that. And um, I think it's definitely something we'll look into, at the very least. I think mm. that just like slapping VR on a game like Vermintide yeah. would be a, a very That's nauseating a, experience, oof, and like yes. running in with hammers and hitting. That's I my think, ultimate VR problem: moving, yeah. moving in the game, but not moving in. Uh, mm. you have to design for VR. You yeah. can't just yeah. like slap VR onto another game and expect Absolutely. it to run out of the box. And so I think if we do any kind of VR support, we'll really want to look at what can we do within the world of, of Vermintide that would make sense in VR, yeah. rather than just going, here you go, you know, put your Oculus on and, and throw yeah. up and start running. <laughs> exactly. It's a new crazy experience. Yeah. Um, but that would be super fun. Like, have yeah. you guys tried out VR? Yes. I, I haven't have. personally. Haven't. I'm kind of terrified, yeah. I'm kind of terrified I might never take it off. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> I still, like, imagine... Looking up at a rat ogre, yeah, that would be pretty cool indeed. Or even just a storm vermin. Sheesh! I don't even know how tall they are. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty tall. tall. Yeah, yeah. Like two meters. Pretty or something, tall, I think. Pretty I'm pretty, expecting pretty tall. Yeah, yeah. Like two meters. Or pretty tall, I think. Maybe more. Um. Next up. Uh, Frappy Warrior. Yeah. Are we ever going to see clan rats with shields? They are there in your screenshots. What, what screenshots? Mark. What clan rats with shields? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope so. Have to wait and see, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's. I enjoy that people saw that. Yeah. That's all we yeah. say on that for now. They were, they were very prominent in the picture as well for the last stand. Yeah. So. That may or may not have been intentional. Yeah. Leo, exactly. quickly, shield us from this question. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, apologize for your puns. Yeah, no. no apologize. <laughs> Never apologize for puns. Next one is from Ezard, our uh -huh. MVP of the week. How did your playtest event thing go? How did it go, Leo? Yeah, it went really well. So, uh, a bit of backstory on this, I guess. Um, we invited uh, eight people over to see us in Stockholm um, and come to our office for sort of an evening of, of drinks, food, snacks, and playing really mm -hmm. um it went really really well um of the eight invited six turned up which is not bad going really mm -hmm. i think um and you know we sat them down for a couple of hours and played something we're going to talk about touch on later and, and and talk about another time um you know some new levels so they got a sneak preview they got a sneak preview of uh, some of the sneak preview of, of the, the sneak, sneak preview, preview. <laughs> yeah exactly um and we you know we gather some feedback uh, you know initial feedback from some you know some people out in the wild I guess, um, and it was <laughs> it was really well received. Um, I think in both directions, it was really cool for them to see something new and actually see see inside the Shark Tank uh, mm. and meet some of the team. Um, and for us, it was really great to get some some actual first hand ex you know feedback from yeah. their experiences within uh, something yet to come. Mm. Yeah, um, Rasmus, our user experience test guy, is like. He was over the moon about it. He was having so much fun. I yeah. asked him the day after, like, how did it go? He's like, oh, so good. Yeah. It's like a lot of good feedback. And, good. and he was saying that the the guys who were playing, that they really enjoyed it as well, like the new stuff that we're going to be talking about. Well, later. that's good. Yeah. That's good. And it turned out that their favorite <laughs> trinket was the hedge wizard trinket. Oh, there you go. So what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Uh, Is the team considering reworking veteran weapons? It was asked by KarstXT via Reddit. That's a good question. I know that we Not talked sure. about that a while ago. I know that it was like... Yeah, that was brought up quite a while ago on yeah, the stream, I think. I know that we we mentioned in last week's stream that we have these like weeks every quarter where we have these like creative weeks where anybody yeah. in the company can do anything. And I know that uh, that our um, kind of head of administration um, was doing a pitch for some new veteran weapons. He was oh, just like okay. writing up an idea for it. Um, so I know that that's, it's something we've at least started to talk about. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I started working possible. on some fun ones during oh, yeah? one of those hack weeks as well. But do you want to tell um, us about any of them? No, I can't. I can't do that. You never know. Maybe they'll be in the game at some point, but we'll see. <laughs> Don't spoil anything. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, or, or they're pretty bad, maybe. Either or. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, there was one project that was made 
on the last week's one that was just so funny. I just I really hope we can do that one. <laughs> yeah. I love I would love to talk about it, but um yeah. Not in this stream. Maybe soon. <laughs> that was super funny. So, uh Okay. Uh, level nine light spell. Yeah. There are times it would be super nice to get an item below what you rolled on Ronald's bones. Mm -hmm. For example, I rolled six, but there's a hat at five. Is this possible with the tech in the game? And if so, is it something that the devs would look into and consider implementing? That's an interesting one because I know that there's been some people in the office that have been thinking the same thing as well. Yeah. Um, it's. I will say that it's, it's a massive change to the to the very core of the loot system. Yeah. I mean, like if you just look at it from a technical standpoint, um, it might be a simple thing to do. Yeah. But it substantially changes the way that you <clears throat> gain loot in the game, or like that you acquire loot. Uh, instead of receiving one like random thing for playing a level, suddenly you have a, a choice of several different ones. And so it's a pretty big change. And even then, whether or not we would do it, I'm just yeah. saying like it's it's a big one. Yeah. I think that's something that we'd have to bring up with the designers, or mm. the people that have designed the loop system. Um, that's uh, something that if you want to like talk more about, then that's probably get a Reddit thread up and like, offer definitely. some suggestions for it. Mm -hmm. and we we're always looking for feedback on the loot system and definitely like things you'd like to see in the future. Or mm. uh, if we did the loot system from scratch, what would you like to see? What are some suggestions you have? That's always interesting to hear. I think that that, that thing in particular is something we'll have to discuss. But uh, you could definitely look forward to the quest and contract system which we talked about on last week's stream you can yeah. check out the VOD on that on our YouTube channel or on our Twitch channel and uh, hear us talk about what that is but quest and contracts is kind of it is effectively a system that lets you go I want this thing I'm going to play for that's it that's true so it kind of that's true it pushes in that direction a bit more and it makes for a more transparent uh, system within the loot system yeah so uh, you can look forward to that for sure okay next question um Fetherendi? Fetherendi. Oh, Fetherendi, yes. Yeah. Is that yeah, Swedish? I think so. <laughs> that Will there be some sort of prestige system with your levels to make them worthwhile past level 100? Do you have any cha uh, changes coming to the leveling system at all? Um, it's a fun question. Yeah, I think like currently the way that the leveling system works is you get white weapons, I believe, every yep. time you level up, and then at a certain point you start getting green weapons every time you level up. And then we have some players that have just like continuously leveled to way beyond what we would ever expect. I mean, once uh, you once you reach level five hundred, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But that's it's a really fun idea, and I, I mean, I we, we've so. talked about some kind of prestige system or having you like, um, you know, reset your level at some point and that kind of stuff. Uh, I guess we'll or see at least something to do with the levels, because currently, mm. I mean, you get to a point where you're just getting weapons, uh, and yeah, it'd be nice to add something that sort of showed off your your level a bit more than just mm. a number. What level are you, Liam? I'm level uh, 3,264, <laughs> I believe. What level are you guys? Like 40. Yeah, about 36. Yeah. I will say, when I didn't, I didn't legit get yeah. level 3,000. Oh, yeah. It was a long week in a play. On my actual account, 40. On my work account, I'm not sure. I don't think we track levels on that. So. Yeah, I think uh, that would probably be pretty high. Good save, man. Good save. I think that would be quite level six or something, yeah. which is even more tragic, <laughs> yeah, probably. That's true. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. But no, I, I know that the, the actual level thing is something that a lot of players have been talking about, especially like the hardcore players. So that is um, hopefully something we can look into mm -hmm. for the future and see what we can end up doing. Uh, a lot of cool ideas out there. And uh, if you have any ideas about like what that prestige system might be, then definitely send them our way. Yeah. That's always interesting to hear. Uh, Mark Gironi via Reddit. Are there any, as of the 10th of May stream, that's today, uh, <laughs> today yeah, yeah. any secrets in the game that you, the devs, haven't seen any player find? Leo, would you like to answer the secret question? Yes. <laughs> as in, that is yes. the answer to the question. Yeah. Oh, yeah do you want to answer the. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. That is the answer to the question. There's always, you know, there's, there's always more to find. Always more to find. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely things I know are there that haven't been seen. So keep looking. Keep playing. <laughs> keep looking, guys. Uh, can we scroll down a bit, Blonnie? We're running out of... Override asks, what did you eat for breakfast today? Some Skaven blood. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I ate a bit of Skaven blood today, but that mm. was for dinner. Mm. I actually have a mug of Skaven blood here. <laughs> Do you want to show it to the stream? Probably not. Aren't you a vegetarian? Hold that on. looks pretty... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's stuff like that that makes me a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, hmm. one pint of delicious. Mm. One pint of Skaven blood. We uh, are we selling Skaven blood? Or? No, we could do. 
I had no. toast, by the way, to answer your <laughs> <the> question. <laughs> I had no breakfast. Tom? I had no breakfast. I, d- I don't eat breakfast. Blondie, did you have any breakfast? Uh, drinking yogurt. He had drinking yogurt for breakfast. Well, it's it's like yogurt. Well, the that's, verb. That's, it's uh, delicious. That you drink. It's massively different. It's I'm diluted all for, with like milk or something. Okay. I'm all for drinking yeah. yogurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that with like muesli in it. That's good. Mu- I don't even. Okay. How do you say muesli? Muesli. Muesli. <laughs> Next question. Then why? Uh, Hirons asks, which hat exactly do you receive if you subscribe? I only ah. know it's for Karuba. So it's a hat named Homeward. You can see it on our Twitch channel. If you kind of look down on the page, there's a picture of it uh, just above. The title of the banner is subscribe. And like on the left of the text, you can see Kruber wearing it. Wearing the hat. Yeah. It looks very royal. It's this like dark black, gated kind of hat. Yeah. Really I don't believe bad. it's findable in the game either. Nope. It's, like, it's like exclusive to this. Yeah. yeah. Straight up, the only people in the world who own this hat and will own this hat are subscribers, are subscribers of the channel. On the Twitch channel. And those. Um, uh, I don't know. Only if they're subscribed. Yeah, <laughs> uh, only devs if they're subscribed. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. And if you, if you subscribe once, that's the hat forever. We're not going to remove it once the subscription runs out or anything. Don't worry about that. Um, Large... Tornado Max. Actually, uh-huh. you missed a couple. Oh yeah. Uh, what's I the did. future for Vermintide? Any forms of expansions in the pipeline? Do you want to ask that, Leo? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the future's bright. I guess uh, we've uh, got a lot of plans um, to do a lot of interesting things o- mm-hmm. over the. You know, coming months and years. Um, mm. So I wouldn't write it off. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, well, I know we've got some announced things in the in the pipeline. That's for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you could class them as expansions. Uh, depends. Depends how you how yeah. you do it. But definitely some larger patches. Yes. Bigger than we've done before, cool at least. Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, this month we've got the biggest update coming out yeah. to date. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Um, Mama Zerka asks. No, hang on. Steam Batsy asks, Steam. how much wood Steam. would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Eleven. Eleven wood? Yeah. That's more than I thought. Mm. Leo, what's your what was what was your estimate? Well, I was going for about eight. But eight blondie, how much wood would a you know and that and that stuff? Uh well, seeing as I have a massive amount of knowledge in the world <laughs> of uh, woodchucks, I would have to say that it's actually 14. Oh, okay. Right. It's actually 14. There you go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That's the answer. There's a question it's there. Surprising. Steam it... Batsy. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, hang on. Team Mama Zerka. We've got to get back to Mama yeah. Zerka. Yeah, go for I'm sorry. It. What was that? It's Team Batsy. It says Steam. Steam. It says Steam there. Well, that's Have you gotten good. a lot of ideas from the community that you actually thought were interesting? If so, what were they? And are they being worked on in any way? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, we have. Uh, I know that like the entire quest and contract system really stems out of community feedback and people talking about how uh, you know they've been playing for a long time and they haven't got a hat yet, for example. That's why we're adding quest and contracts in a very like transparent way mm-hmm. to here. Here's a specific goal, a specific reward. Go get it. You know, so that's that's one of the big things. And then there are tons of suggestions all the time. Like I, I know we had one guy who was talking about head bobbing and how he was getting motion sickness. Yeah. So we added an option to disable that. Yeah. We had people talking about how. Um, you know, when you jump, when you jump in the game or dodge in the game, I was on like on the same button. You can rebind those now. It's yeah. like all these small things, small things all yeah. over the place. Quality of life yeah. changes are something that we can quite easily fix. So, I mean, yeah. if there's something that's really uh, detracting from your experience whilst playing, then hopefully we can fix it. Yeah, we try to add stuff like that in all the time. Um, there's one thing we added recently, which was you can open a Steam player profile, like another player's profile. Hmm. If you hit tab, go to the scoreboard, you can open their uh, profile yeah. right there to add them add as a friend. Them to friend or, yeah. or, you know, write an aggressive comment. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> well, don't do that. Sorry, no. Leo. <laughs> That's going to come back to bite us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, but stuff like that. And, and I know that one thing we're adding in the, in the next update is actually um, the ability to either disable the chat entirely or change the... Uh, the size of the text okay. to make it more readable. Like cool. especially if you're playing on a, on a 4K resolution, for example, yeah. you can boost that size up. Or if you just if you're like me and you find it really funny when all the text is this huge, you can, you can do that. <laughs> so uh, I didn't know we were writing that. That's quite yeah, a good. One. It's like a small thing, and yeah. I just I came across it randomly. I was like, where did this come from? And it was mm-hmm. like, oh, it was a suggestion. Mm-hmm. Okay, Perfect. why not? And it's Perfect. A, sometimes things are easy to do. Sometimes they aren't. And uh, you know, we try to throw in some quality of life stuff wherever we can. Uh, there's a question Ooh. at the bottom there for Leo, which I'd like to ask. Let's do that one. Answer, yeah. What is Leo's favourite Vermintide hero? Um, so I'm a bit of a Barden fan at the moment. Um, yeah, shields up. 
That's, uh, <laughs> That's the short answer for that question. I yeah. think so, yeah. I mean, how I, I, I can't really elaborate much <sighs> more. I regret, <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> Cousin Okri asks, <laughs> speaking of Bardo, that's brilliant. Will there be a new weapon DLC? Uh, as far as like weapons specifically in a DLC, that's that's very possible for the future. But what I will say 100% is there will definitely be new weapons coming for yeah. the game. So um, it's like, that's just a packaging question, if you will. Uh, there are definitely new weapons coming up and uh, quite soon, actually. Mm -hmm. So can't really say anything more right now. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Large3168 asks, will there be a DLC where I can ride the rat ogre like a mountain to battle. That's on you, uh, Leo. Does the hedge, widget, hedge <laughs> wizard deliver? I mean, I'm going to say yes. Yes, there will be. <laughs> um, it's a must-have, really. Yeah. Well, Leo, it's been great having you here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that's that. <laughs> we cannot do that within the lore, I think. No, probably like, not. It would just never happen. No. But it would be so cool. It would be cool. It would be really I, I, I think we should consider it. <laughs> we'll do it in secret. Yeah. Okay, should we take uh, one or two more? Uh, yes. Okay, go only got it. one more. I'm. I'm really really not sorry. not sorry. Yeah, Liam, do you feel left out being beardless and whatnot? <laughs> we touched on that before. I don't want to I talk about do. it. Yeah, I think I think he I think he does. I think that's a yes. Uh. Yeah, that's I it. Think that's that's our it. questions yeah, for today. Good. So let's hop on to the reason you're all here today, <laughs> which is. The giveaway, of course. The giveaway of 10 hats nice. for Vermintide. So, ladies and gentlemen, to be a part of our weekly giveaway, there are only two things that you need to do. I'm going to make them up right now. <laughs> Number one is you have to be a follower of our Twitch channel, which means you need a Twitch account. You need to go to twitch.tv slash games and press the follow button. And the second thing that you need to do is type hashtag Leo's beard. We usually do Tom's beard, but because Leo's here and also has a beard, why not do hashtag Leo's beard? That's all <laughs> lowercase, and just put a hashtag, one word, hashtag Leo's beard. If you put hashtag Tom's beard, that's funny too. So can we do both? Does that work? Uh, we should be. I, I can set that up. We'll do both. You can put hashtag Tom's beard, hashtag Leo's beard. We'll do a, a tally of whoever wins, <laughs> and uh, whoever gets the most hashtags has the best beard. Let's do that. Okay? Well, it's an obvious winner. Oh, you don't know that. Well, well it's a change to the, the it's, a, it's a change to the uh, to the format. So I'm imagining that the Leo's beard is going. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> tell us which beard you prefer. Hashtag <laughs> Leo's beard or hashtag Tom's beard. One word, and you have a chance to be a part of this week's giveaway of hats. Oh, if you put hashtag Liam's beard, you're automatically disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> Are we set up for both of them? Yes, we're set up. So Great. we've got our. Wheel of giveaway here, which I had to convince Tom and Blondie to keep this week. They don't think it's funny, but Leo, <laughs> is, he backed me up, man. Good guy. Yep. So we got the giveaway wheel here, and um, each time we spin the wheel, we're going to give away a hat. This is going to be sent to you via the Twitch inbox. If you are a follower of us on Twitch and have typed hashtag Tom's beard or hashtag Leo, Leo's beard, <laughs> so I've really complicated this one. But it's yeah. good fun. So we're going to start spinning in three, two, one. Spin the wheel, Blondie. <laughs> what will it be? And it's a hat! It's oh, a hat. It's that's a hat. A it's yeah. the stream hat. And that's, that's gone to... Where am I looking? Skipjack ah, 3D. Skipjack 3D. There you go. Skipjack. Congratulations. He's, he's, he's entered with both he's hashtag both Tom's in. beard and hashtag Leo's beard. But he's put Tom's beard in twice. Ah, uh, there we go. There, there we go. go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you type the hashtags, you only need to do it once. <laughs> I know that nobody cares, but it's... And the next hat will go to. I don't know. We don't oh, know it's a hat. It's a hat, though. <laughs> no, it's a hat. It is a hat. Yeah, a hat. That's going to go to. Term Terminator 9. Terminator. Congratulations. Yeah. Was the question, can I get a hat? Because in that case, <laughs> yes. yes. Can. Congratulations. We don't uh, actually have to. He actually asked the hat uh, oh, he did. <laughs> question. He asked the hat question. Brilliant. Oh, the stream has become sentient. Like the giveaway <laughs> wheel, it knows. It's a hat. It's a hat it for. Tisento. Congratulations. Tisento. Like, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Congratulations. We don't uh, actually have uh, He actually asked the hat uh, oh, he did. <laughs> question. He asked the hat question. Brilliant. Oh, the stream has become sentient. Like the giveaway <laughs> wheel, it knows. It's a hat. It's a hat it for Tisento. Congratulations. Tisento. Thanks for watching the stream. Thanks for hashtagging. <laughs> Didn't see which hashtag that was. We can't see that anymore. Is it gone? No. It's only if they uh, message it whilst. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. they, after they've yeah. been selected, chosen. All right. All right. Well, the next hat goes to 
Killed by propaganda. <laughs> Killed Congratulations, by propaganda. brilliant. That's such a good name. Is this the sixth, fifth, fifth hat? Fifth hat goes to... No, sixth hat. Watson LG. When is Watson that picture? LG. That's a funny picture. Congratulations. <laughs> you like your avatar. <laughs> That's a really good one. What if that is him? You just said it's a funny <laughs> No, but it's, it's still funny. It's not his <laughs> face that's funny. It's a funny picture. You're turning this into an insult. Let, let me just reiterate, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you want to be a part of the of the uh, giveaway here on stream, you can win a hat. Just type in hashtag Tom's beard or hashtag Leo's beard, and uh, be a follower of oh, our it's Twitch a channel. Leo's beard. We have yeah, a Leo's beard fan right here, and it is <laughs> Alan Leo. Gord. Congratulations on your new hat, Alan Gord. It's really like the the. It's very unclear who's winning the hashtag race. Yeah, I, I think it's quite even actually. We have a new hat. We have a new hat for... Noigo. Noigo. Congratulations, Noigo. Awesome. And thank you for being part of the stream. We've got two been, more hats to give away. Everyone's been following this week as well. Yeah. And this hat goes to Buddha04. Congratulations. Buddha 04 with a banana. Buddha. That's a funny 04. picture. It is. That's the definitely final picture. The final. Ladies and gentlemen, before we do the final hat for the giveaway, I think it's this is a good time for us to announce what will happen on next week's surprise stream. So next week we've got a surprise stream coming up and the idea is we're not going to announce these until the stream the week before. So it's kind of a, a surprise. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly enough. I'm not going to say the word surprise anymore now. On next week's surprise stream, <laughs> <laughs> we will be revealing what is coming up later this month in some more depth. We're going to be, be bringing in our lead level designer to talk about the upcoming Drachenfels level DLC. So we've got three new levels coming for the game. Ooh. And uh, Daniel Platt, our lead level designer, is going to be joining us for that, talking about the brand new levels coming up for the game, taking your questions, and hopefully we can show some really cool stuff off. Maybe some footage, maybe nice. some screenshots. I'm not nice, sure yeah. what we can show yet, but uh, it's going to be sweet. So you definitely don't want to miss next week's live stream on Tuesday at 5 p.m. CEST, which is a crazy weird time zone for everybody <laughs> outside of Sweden. But if you check out our website, vermtai.com, check out the stream schedule, which is under the community tab, you can find out. And now... We've got one Final. more item on the giveaway wheel. So what is it? Though? Have you spun the wheel? We haven't no. spun it yet. We've, we've spun the... Do you want to do the honor? Do you want to press the spin wheel? I'll press the <laughs> spin wheel. Oh, what's it going to be? <laughs> it's a hat. I saw that coming. It is a hat. Called it. And it is four. And the final winner is... Do you want to pronounce that? Uh, yeah, Pi4 Encomax. Nice. Yeah. This is why you're a community manager. Exactly. Pi4 Encomax. Congratulations. Congratulations. Your new hat. Congratulations. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for participating in the giveaway. It's been tons of fun. Those of you who have been lucky enough to win a hat this week will be receiving them via your Twitch inbox. We'll send you a message with the Steam code. If you didn't win in this week's stream, definitely join us again next week for another chance to win some awesome hats for Vermintide. And we'll be sticking around for a couple more minutes. We're going to do some subscriber shout-outs. We'll take some final questions if anybody has any. And then we'll kind of wrap up, wrap up the uh, stream. I did see one question whilst yep. uh, everyone was throwing the hashtag Toms and hashtag Leo's weird <laughs> in, the, in the chat. Um, what happens if I'm already subscribed and I win the hat? I think it's probably worth mentioning hats. that they are different hats. These are different so, hats. So there's yes. one giveaway hat and there's one subscriber hat. Exactly. Right? So uh, if, if that happens, one then... One for Bardin uh, currently and one yeah. for... And the subscriber hat then is for... Kruber. Uh, Kruber. The Empire Soldier. He also has a really cool beard. Indeed. And who, who won the beard? Beard off. Who won the beard off? I don't, I don't we're gonna know. We're going to have to... I, I think we have to compile that. Yeah, we're going to have to go back and look through... <laughs> Chat history on Twitch. We'll make a story. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to have to go back. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do some quick subscriber shout-outs. Leo, would you like to do the honor? These are the new subscribers for our Twitch channel who help us bring out these streams and are giving money to charity for some cool fashion advantage in our chat. Um, Quick question here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I claim the hat when I subscribed? The answer to that is we will be manually sending them out. So uh, it may take a few days before you receive it, but be sure we, we, you will get it and it will be uh, via a message on Twitch. So yeah. check your Twitch inbox and you should get a code through that. So that's a Steam code, you add it to your library and bam, you got a hat. So some subscriber shootouts today. Oh, I love the first name. <laughs> Leo, um, this yeah, is on you. This, of course it is, yeah. Um, shout out to Meet Spin Commander. Thank you for your subscription. <laughs> and, don't uh, Google that. There'll, there'll be a new hat coming your way very soon. Okay, let's Tom? speed through these. Soviet, Soviet method. method. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. And uh, is that Khan244? Thank you very Thank you much. Thank so much. Daman3395. Thank you. Dan Man. Dan Man. Dan Man. Not Dan Man. Dan Man. 
Do, do I have to uh, yeah, zoom, zoom in a bit? Yeah, zoom a little bit. So that we, yeah, there we go. There we go. What Perfect. Is, what is this in a so we got petitions exam? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to DB Warrior Thirteen. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. City Chan. I actually recognise that name as well. City Chan. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. <laughs> we got okay. Dual Shock in Lead Speak. Uh, Sony Data PlayStation shock. fan. Data, Data shock, shock, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Lead Speak. I'm D four seven four five H zero C K. Let's let's move on. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing, though. Uh, hey, you do that one, Wagen. Yeah, good one. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very we'll much, go Wagen. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Blood Moon Inn. Oh. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, the name good, of the Discord channel as well. Name. Blood Moon Inn. Lars Co. Red Moon Inn. No, the Discord channel is Blood Moon Inn. Is it? Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. I, I wrote you down. don't hang in the Discord. You're <laughs> no, not I the MVP. I'm sorry. Bl- bl- <laughs> Lorsco8765, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. And Wuthering Heights, you too. Thank you very much. Enjoy your new hat. UID134, thank you. Some who call me Mew. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing. These names are amazing. And Bourbon94, thanks for Bourbon subbing. 94. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Are we. Where do we end? KJ1010, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. We've got Fire Ice Gold, thank you so much. And I think uh, those are. No. We did, those are all. Those are all no, the ones we did for this, this week. One, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have Oscars. Oscars as well. And thanks for stopping by for the yeah, playtester. Play yeah. Yeah, yeah. Play really great to meet you. Ricebarus. Ricebarus. Ricebarus, thank you for subscribing. That's an L, isn't it? The it real is, but <laughs> all of it. This is your one. The real Dan the Man. The real Dan the Man. Hang yeah. on. Can we scroll up again? Because I think we have a Dan Man competition going on here. <laughs> yeah, Dan Man Uh-oh. and the real Dan the Man. Okay. Tricky. And Let's the final one is uh, MN Hun. So thank you very much, everyone, for subscribing. Thank you. Enjoy your hats. We really appreciate it. We really and hope you enjoyed the hats. Yeah, we'll get them to you as soon as possible. So we'll take three final questions from the chat before we go away. I'm seeing somebody type, God damn it, Blondie, in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was, but... Uh, oh, and we're actually getting some new subscribers just now. That's awesome. Sweet. We're gonna Hopefully give you a shout-out next week then. Do, for that. Yeah, we'll do shout-outs more, just so we don't end up being here all day. Uh, <laughs> so we'll do three final questions before we end. Ooh, um, okay. Uh, this is Very Pointless asks, on a scale of one to seven, how likely is it to get Steam Workshop added to the game? <laughs> I would love to do that. That is a future. yeah, that's a tricky one, I think, mm. because I know there's people that really want it to happen, but I don't think it's something that we're looking at right now. Yeah, I think um, it's, I mean it's something that it's definitely been on our wish list for a while. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll get a chance to look into that soon. I mean, uh, I always say this, but you know, still the entire team that worked on Vermintide all the way up until release is still working on Vermintide yeah. and continuing to keep the game alive, doing lots of cool stuff for the future. So uh, you know, mod support is definitely something we might look into for the future of the game. Uh, we got tons of cool stuff coming soon, so so don't worry about that. But uh, hopefully we can do that in the future. Um, okay. Uh, uh, will you overhaul the results page to include assists, heals, defends, and other statuses? That mm. was asked by Ooh. City Chan. That's a good question, I think. Mm. That's a really good question. Uh, I think that's something that we could definitely look into. Mm. Um, our UI guy seems to enjoy working on UI stuff, so if we give him more to do, then I'm sure he'll be happy. For sure. Yeah, um, we've got a lot of... That's a really cool idea. Yeah, definitely. I, I know that there are some people that, like with the new traits that we added, mm. the when you assist allies, uh, you get a bonus. Yeah. I think there are some people that you know enjoy playing the game uh, in a more supporty role. Mm. Perhaps, like the people with the sword and shields. Obviously, they're not the guys that are killing everything, but they're very effective in what they're doing. So sure. it would be nice to highlight more statistics mm. so that you can be on top of the leaderboard for yeah. things like that. That's a really good idea. Yeah, great, great suggestion. Thank you. And uh, Leo, would you like to pick the last question? It's the mandatory microtransaction one. <laughs> We're not doing microtransaction. <laughs> Never. It's really tricky. You gotta pick the best one, Leo. No pressure. Mm-mm-mm. Will there be any proper boss battles asked by Vanapic? Um Ooh. It's a tricky button. What yeah. is a proper boss battle though? What is a proper boss battle? I don't know. I'm thinking like uh like a, I mean, we've been talking about Blizzard quite a bit, but like a World of Warcraft encounter would be pretty damn cool. Like a raid Arena, boss. raid boss kind of, oof. 
amazing. Mm. That would be awesome. I think sort of visual yeah. mechanics. The yeah, ability to sort of exactly. Move and dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Can we do a Kickstarter for that? <laughs> <laughs> Boss Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, that would be so much fun. When's Flappy Tide coming? Love it. <laughs> we should do that. That's a good idea. All Ladies right. and gentlemen, that's it for this week's stream. But you can join us again next week at the same time at 5 p.m. CEST. You can check out our website, romantide.com slash stream schedule, I believe. I'm not it's in the it's in the links. Just check it out. Uh, you know. And uh, that's our schedule for next week's stream. Next week's stream, as mentioned, is a surprise stream. We're going to be a bit, featuring... A bit less of a surprise now. A <laughs> bit less of a surprise. We're going to be bringing in Daniel Platt, our lead level designer, to talk about the upcoming Drakenfels DLC to the game with three brand new levels that introduce some really cool mechanics. We're super excited to talk more about that. And again, thank you, Leo, and thank you, Tom, and thank, thank you, you Blondie, thank you. all for joining us today. And at the very most, thank you to you guys for joining the stream, for subscribing, for following us, and for you know being a part of the giveaway wheel. Love it. Hashtag Leo's and beard, hashtag Tom's beard. All the fantastic suggestions as well. Yes. Yeah, keep it up. Lots of cool stuff. Thank you so much for letting us do these streams. Yeah. Because if nobody was watching, how would we motivate this to management? <laughs> and keep exactly. sending in your feedback through the different channels. I love reading it all. So, yeah, keep that up. Ladies all and gentlemen, right. thank you so much. That's it for us. See Cheers. you next week. Have a nice Tuesday evening. Bye.